What's up everybody, Rob Ferretti here. Uh, I wanna to touch on the Ford GT selection process. I've seen a lot of uh, people tweeting at Ford and, and saying like, these guys should've got it, these guys shouldn't have got it. It's their car, let them do what they want. Uh, I wanna actually tear the process apart a little bit and sort of give you guys some more insight and stuff that you're probably not realizing that go from, from a business aspect and then obviously the the speculation as to why I didn't get one, why Alejandro didn't get one, it, who knows? Uh, I've never been a very good test taker. It could be the tone of the application. All of that stuff comes into play. You don't see that. You just say, this guy deserves it, this guy deserves it, this guy deserves it. But you don't see the actual process and, and how good Alejandro, myself, or maybe some of the other guys filled out the applications or how deserved or not deserved we are. But let's also pull apart some very basic stuff. Ford has 500 cars to distribute, and it's not 500 cars to distribute to the top 500 YouTubers or anything like that. It's 500 cars to distribute worldwide. Now, 50 go to Saudi royalty, because they just buy 50 of them, just to have 50 of them. The other 450 are now going to China, Japan, uh, any of the other markets, Russia. I mean, I don't know what other markets uh, is ser are serviced by Ford, but there's car collectors and there's deserved people all across the world. So I don't know what the application process looked like. I guarantee there's a bunch of people that got cars without even filling out an application. I don't think Jay Leno sat there pecking at a keyboard and grabbing his phone, making an application video to try to get a car. I'm sure he just got a car if he wanted one. Uh, insert 10 other, 15 other big name celebrities in there that if they want the car, they get the car. Uh, a lot of people don't realize that Alejandro and I are both in two of the biggest US markets as far as car demand. So it's not that we may not have been more qualified than some other people on the list, but in the New York area, I could have been 10th on the list and they've only had five cars for the New York area. So you have to look at it regionally as well. Otherwise, all the cars would be in New York and LA and whatever, and in Dubai and pick a couple other uh, key cities. So all factors that people don't really look at is that these are broken down by region. And there's a guy that many people may have been more qualified for in Manitoba, Canada, and pick a random like place, but they had an allocation of two cars and those two cars get delivered to the two most deserved people in that area. So that's one way to look at it that most people aren't. People then saying it's because of the Ford GT running from the cops video. I doubt it. It's, it's because uh, somebody else was speeding. The guy from Drag Times got a car uh, and he, he did, and congratulations by the way, uh, he is a guy who, who has videos, I'm sure, of, of street racing and whatnot. So all of this stuff has nothing to do, like anything that you think is the reason we didn't get it, I guarantee it all comes down to the application and then the priority. It's just that there, there are more, get, get over ourselves. There are more influential people and it's more of a wide range. I mean, maybe they said four YouTubers are gonna get it and one of them was Sprink Captain Sparkles or Sprinkles or whatever his name is. I'm not saying that to insult him, I just, I don't know. I just know he got one, I just don't know who he is. Um, and then the, uh, and Shmi, both got two YouTubers, big names. Uh, a lot of people recognize them, they both scored cars. We're also looking at the sample size of the people that have acknowledged that they've received cars. So a lot of other people may have gotten cars and they didn't even announce it. So who knows who actually got cars, who didn't get cars. We know a couple, we know, I, I think Road and Track did an article saying that I should have gotten one. Awesome, I appreciate that. They said the same thing about Alejandro. I can't tell you why we didn't. I don't think either of us are too upset. And, and you have to realize that's not a dig from Ford. It's not Ford saying these guys are not allowed to own the car. We're just not getting of the first 500 cars. They may make another 500, they may make another 5,000, which we may be entitled to buy new. And that doesn't mean we can't go buy a used one. It's not like Ford is gonna revoke the registration on somebody because they don't like what they're doing with the car. They don't really care what happens with the car. They wanted it to go into the right hands and some of those hands may be collectors, some may be publicity uh, driven, like, um, I don't know, some, some other, uh, Dead Mouse, for example. Uh, I, I don't think he's a Ford guy. Uh, everybody that runs around saying I'm boycotting Ford or like I'm selling all my Ford fleet cars because I didn't get one. Sour grapes, get over it. You know you're not gonna go through the effort of doing that. Um, it just, this will all blow over. It's not a big deal. It just, there's a, a way to look at the selection process from a business perspective that you have to do to be objective as to why certain people did and did not get the cars. They don't give you the answer. It's a pass fail. So uh, we don't know why we failed. 
I wasn't waitlisted, Alejandro wasn't waitlisted, so we weren't even up there. Uh, it's one of those things, Alejandro pointed out one guy who deserved a car who had five Ford GTs. He wasn't up there either, he wasn't added to the waitlist. If we want cars, the simple answer is if you can shop for a $400,000 car, you could buy it when it hits the used market. Uh, you can buy it for five hundred dollars or three hundred, dollars whatever it's worth in the, uh, in the longer run. However, if Ford played their cards right, which apparently they were trying to do, all 500 cars will never be up for sale because those 500 people will just keep them and covet them because they picked the right people. Will that happen? We'll find out. Thank you for watching. Leave your comments and thoughts below. Uh, if you know anyone else that got selected, post them up. It's a good topic of conversation. Uh, don't get angry at anyone. It's just the way of the world. Uh, there's other cool cars out there, like some of the ones behind me, that we get to go and have fun with. Don't feel bad for us. Just watch, enjoy, and comment. Talk to you soon.